Many of the details of chemical reactions in solution depend on the concentration of uh, the species involved in the, in the reaction. Uh, there are many ways to express the concentration of species in solution, but the one that is more commonly used is uh, the use of molar concentration. In this video, we define what molar concentration is, and we also carry out a numerical example. Right, so molar concentration is uh, defined as the number of moles of a solid that you have uh, in solution over the volume of the solution. Okay. The term that we use for molar concentration uh, are square brackets, and inside you have the chemical symbol, right? So for a, a given compound X, the molar concentration would be expressed with square brackets and then X. Okay. Now the solute uh, is the minority component, or one of the minority components that you have in a solution. The solvent is the majority component. Uh, in aqueous solutions, that would be water. Okay, and then the volume of the solution contains both the volume occupied by the solvent and uh, the volume occupied by the solute. Okay, now uh, with this, uh, uh, we actually find that the, num uh, the units of this uh, molar concentration is going to be mole and uh, the volume uh, is normally expressed in liters, okay? And we also refer to this as molarity or molar. Okay, so if the calculation gives you a molar concentration of 0 0.1 moles per liter, we also call it 0 0.1 m or 0 0.1 molar. Okay, let's, let's then carry out an uh, a easy calculation to uh, express or to uh, uh, exemplify what this molar concentration is. What we're going to do is we're going to take uh, one gram of sodium chloride, table salt, and we're going to dilute, dilute it uh, to 200, uh, to enough water, with enough water, to get to uh, 215 milliliters volume. Right? So the way that you do this is you would go to the uh, uh, balance and then weigh out one gram of sodium chloride, and then you would go to a volumetric metric flask, okay, and then fill to the 250 mil level. Okay, and you learn you have learned how to do that in the laboratory. Okay, so the question would be, well, what would be the molar concentration of uh, the solution that you can prepare uh, using these these numbers? All right, if we take the uh, uh, equation there. We now have that the molar concentration is going to be equal to the number of moles of sodium chloride, which is a solute in this case, over the volume of a solution. Okay. Now, uh, we don't have directly the number of moles, but we can get the number of moles uh, from the mass of uh, sodium chloride and the molar mass. Okay, so that is going to be mass of sodium chloride over the molar mass divided by the volume of the solution. Okay, so uh, we look at the uh, molar mass of sodium chloride, and then we find that that mass is 58.44 grams per mole. And then here we just have to add what the uh, to uh, plug in here what the volume of the solution is. Now notice that uh, the volume of the solution is provided in milliliters, but when we use more concentration, that uh, a unit of volume is a liter. Okay, so we do a transformation from milliliters to liters to find that the volume in liters is to, uh, 0 .0, 0 0.0, 0.250 liters. Okay, let's see how the uh, units work out. Grams cancel out with gram, and then what you get out of this is going to be moles per liter or molarity. Okay, the result is 0 0.0684 mole per liter, or uh, typically we use uh, capital M, and we read that as molar. Okay, so the result is 0 0.0684 molar. That is the molar concentration uh, in this one gram of sodium chloride dissolved uh, uh, to a volume of 200 milliliters with water.